So I noticed this piece of aluminum foil sitting around after my uh, last cheap modeling video when I built those uh, scrap cars. And it got me remembering another couple of quick, easy, cheap projects that you can do with aluminum foil for modeling. The first one is culverts, which are commonly, at least in my part of the world, um, a galvanized steel pipe corrugated that you'd install underneath a road or a track to uh, divert water away. So I'm just going to uh, quickly throw one together here. According to my web searching, they tend to come in 20 foot lengths, but you can order whatever you want. And they tend to be in sizes from like 12 inches, which is what? 300 millimeters, 30 centimeters, up to uh, about 96 inches, which is two and a half meters roughly. Um, and it takes no time at all to make them using just some aluminum foil and a bolt and you just pick a bolt that measures about the right size in your scale and do essentially just that if you want the corrugations to be a little bit sharper defined you can press it into a brush just so that bristles kind of press up into there and there you go and just thread it off now you can use any size of pipe or any size you want um, that fits your uh, fits your scale this one where'd my scale ruler go this one looks like it's going to be pretty much 24 inches two feet in HO um, Where's O scale on this ruler? I don't have O scale on this ruler. Where's my other scale ruler? It's more reflective. That's why I don't usually use it on on video. O scale. This would be about what, 16 inches or so. Do I have N on here? Yeah. This would be a big one. This would be bigger than any prototype in an N scale, but you could use a smaller bolt. I'm just going to quickly thread this off here. It's not super tight, so it's not perfectly threaded on there. Um, there is a little seam sprung open, but that's okay. Get a little bit of, a little bit of glue. Nothing fancy, just plain old white glue. Could use super glue too. I just discovered before the video that mine was all dried and crudded up. I couldn't really use it for this, but this will work because this isn't in a high stress situation, right? This is just a scenery piece in the background. And just kind of loosely clamp it together and it'll hold. So there's that. Um, quick, easy. How long did that take us? No time at all. Something else that I've. Uh, also done with the aluminum foil. How big is that piece there, that little offcut? That's about seven feet by four. That's close enough. Let's pretend it's four by eight. So I'm just gonna bring that in just as a something to push against. And put that on there. And this time actually I will use that finer bolt. And just Press it in straight. Et voila! Corrugated metal siding. Uh, as used on shacks everywhere, such as the chicken coop. Take a look at that. Does that look pretty similar? Um, you could use a coarser bolt to make pieces that side. So if you're scratch building um, a structure or building like just a junkyard fence you could attach those to posts um, or put it in the back of a contractor's truck there's a 
some culvert pieces that I made earlier. Um, you could use them in a scene. You could use a bunch of full lengths, um, which are apparently generally 20 feet. Put a bunch of those on a flat car, new going to construction site, a whole bunch of them. Or, especially if you mess some up, you could use them as part of a scrap load. This is one that I did a long time ago. So these two, I just poked some holes in, crushed them, weathered them horribly. Um, and there's some of the pieces of sheet metal too that, again, are just crumpled and thrown into my scrap load here. I don't even know what all this stuff is in there. Oh, a broken coupler, some pieces of sprue that I've rusted, an old barrel. Who knows what else is down in the bottom of there, but it's a scrap load. It's scrappy. So I hope that's, I don't know, it's not, none of this is my original idea. Um, this is all ideas that I stole from other people who stole from magazines, who stole from other people in the past. Um, feel free to take it. And if you do something really cool with it, I'd love to see a picture down in the comments. Um, or if you've seen other people do other things with, uh, with this idea, again, link them down in the comments. I'd love to see them. Let's, uh. Let's share, show your work. Um, I hope you hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's just a quick, cheap little tip. If you do have anything to say about it, please down in the comments. And I will talk to you later.